Here are two examples which turn around the exercise we ask you to do around the footprint at the time of the Anthropocene. Two examples on the blue planet, but the blue planet which has stopped being blue, so to speak. One of them is by Andrew Sloiter, and it's called the Anthropocene Cosmogram, Mount Kilimanjaro in Kenya. And the other one is called G. Lipovsky, which is a pseudonym, of course, and the Anthropocene in a Hobbit. What is really interesting in the first one is that it has chosen one of its many examples, which is now possible through the expansion of the cartography, not only Google Earth, but lots of other systems. And uh, it follows the Kilimanjaro, which is, of course, an icon of culture because of the importance of the Old Dubai Gorge, the origin of humans there, and uh, the literature of, from Hemingway to Shirley Strum that you saw in the, in the class to many others in the uh, field of science. And what is interesting is that it used one of its instruments which are monitoring the planet, instruments which have become so important at the time of ecological mutation. And it shows the very, very quick acceleration of a transformation of the glaciers on the top of Mount Kilimanjaro. And of course, the more of these instruments are developed, the easier it is to feel the footprint. This is why we ask you to do this exercise. And in the ne next installment, we'll propose another version of the visualization of the Anthropocene. The more they are, the more you feel the situation in which you are embedded, which is the very definition of the Anthropocene. The second post by G. Lipovsky is even more surprising because it is the image of a blue planet seen from fast uh, away, probably through a montage of some sort. But it is a NASA image, which has uh, a false image, of course. It's an inventory, right? Which detects also the debris in space of all the things that we sent uh, above the Earth in, uh, through satellite. And the blue planet doesn't look very blue in that case. It's quite interesting to see that if you add the debris of all of those uh, satellites, it gives a very, very different shape. The shape, not of a blue planet admired, as it was the case in the 70s, but the blue planet under threat. It's a bit like the film, or uh, the film Gravity, if you want. All of those debris uh, give a very defin different definition of the footprint. And it gives a very precise and very moving uh, view because of a notion of externality. Externality is what we do when we develop, it's an economic term, when we develop an activity and there are positive or negative externality on lots of others. Where here, we have developed the Earth, but the externalization, externality, are sent away. The prime that away is now a place where there are lots of new satellites coming on, and all of those satellites are threatened by the debris, which are uh, sort of invading the space outside of the planet. So these are two very interesting examples of the notion of footprint in the Anthropocene.